one of several tornadoes, this would be the most violent of the day. We gotta go. Having driven over 600 miles in 10 hours, I arrived in southeast Wyoming. Odds were slim, but models had been predicting a discrete cell would develop. Soon this isolated storm blew up near Chugwater. Nice Rain-free base here. Look back to our east, we got some beautiful Mamatas. It quickly organized and produced the first couple tornadoes of the day. This storm was cyclical, meaning it would produce several short-lived tornadoes throughout its life. But there was one tornado that would stand out from the rest. I found myself in a place I have never chased before. I was in the notch of the hook echo. You can just see those rain bands. I was in the bear's cage rotating there. RFD is coming in with some hail. Start to hear it in the uh, power poles, power lines. We have to get out of here soon. I overstayed my welcome as the walls were closing in. All right, in. We gotta go. It's about to get very dangerous for motorists south of Hawk Springs. It may not look like much, but this is a non-fully condensed tornado, and it is inflicting EF2 level damage just over a mile ahead. You might hear the anguish in my voice. The pickup took a pounding to get this view. Golf ball in there. about to get loud. Tornado damage here. Very large tail, semi-trailer.
mine snapped. In total, six tornadoes were reported with this storm. I just have to say, what a day it's been. I missed the final one as I was photographing some gorgeous storms in Colorado and the Nebraska Panhandle. Then it was back to chasing in Iowa the very next day.